Hello everyone, it's Doll Kira, and welcome to Doll Things Thursday, where we talk about anything doll related, new or old. So this is episode four, and it'll be part three, the final part of the 2022 recap thing I'm doing. Um, disclaimer, this is not all the doll releases. This is just the ones I wanted to talk about, so there will be some missing here or there. I, I really apologize. These are just the ones I wanted to mention. Otherwise, if I mentioned every single release, it would go on forever because, you know, there's just so many releases. Okay, so in this part, we are going to talk about a few interesting new releases by a little more unknown brands or lines, and then Barbie and Disney and as well as Monster High. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so we're starting off with the Aphmau releases. She released a few dolls, the Ultimate Mystery Surprise, and then the regular just fashion doll, as well as these cute little little cat figures and little plushies, so adorable, and the doll is so cute too. I love the character design, and um, she's a Minecraft YouTuber, so I thought it was really cool that she did that. Um, now we get the art squad. Now there's four of these dolls and you can, the whole deal with them is you can customize them and do like little arts and crafts with them, which is really cool for kids as well as collectors too. If you, you know, want to have a little fun and also collect dolls, um, their character design is really cute. I like the colors that are in their hair and their faces are pretty cute. Um, not my cup of tea personally, but really cool for anybody that is. Um, now we get Barbie. Now there was a bunch of releases, so this isn't all of them, but these are just the ones I wanted to mention. Um, so we got the Birthday Wishes Barbie 2022. So we got the classic Barbie pink, as well as like little dots, different colors, like little bubbles on the dress. I think it's really pretty. The big bow. I like the high to low design on the dress. The face is pretty. I just wish it was articulated, but you know. How it is. Um, the holiday Barbies honestly was nothing special to me. They're cute. They're supposed to be like poinsettias kind of thing. Uh, they're cute. I like their faces really pretty. I just I'm not a fan of the poses like that. Either I'd rather just not have that pose or be articulated. Uh, it's really cool that there was a red hair Barbie but she was really hard to find for some reason. Weird. Um, now we got the Tooth Fairy doll, which she's really pretty, and I really wanted her. She's articulated, which is really nice, but she's so expensive, like way too expensive for the quality, in my opinion. Um, her face is really pretty. I like that she's like platinum blonde hair or white, like really pretty. Um, and the Crystal Fantasy Collection 2022, Rose Quartz, she is gorgeous. I really wanted her. I'm not a fan of that pose, but oh well. Uh, she's just really expensive. Her shoes are really nice too, and her crown, just her face, everything, uh, but really expensive. Um, the Day of the Dead Barbie and Ken dolls. Uh, I love like Day of the Dead dolls or Dio de Milto, sorry, I butchered that. Um, I love just the design. There's just so much going on with them and it's great. Like most of all, I love the sugar skull design on their faces. Um, this is the Benito Santos uh, collaboration. She is really gorgeous. Like I'm sure, she, like I'm not sure what she originally was, but online, you know, scalpers, super, super expensive. Uh, the Barbie looks metallic. They're really pretty. I love their makeup are kind of like all the same idea kind of thing. Same colors, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, really pretty. I love Barbie looks. It's really good. Like, I love the articulation and their faces are usually really nice. Uh, so yeah, those were a really cool release. Uh, we got the Barbie Mermaid Power. I love this art. Really pretty. Uh, the designs for these are really nice. Love mermaid dolls. Um, I love her, like, color scheme. So pretty. Uh, and I like the fins, too. Her color scheme's scream. Her color scheme is really pretty too. Um, I like her little pet, her little seahorse pet. Now we get the Cutie Reveal Sparkle series. Snow, snowflake sparkles, yeah. 
this is I like the cutie reveals I really do I like that they're um was articulated and it's so cute like the costume um this is the owl one I love the face design on these like this I thought this line was so good um a little more expensive than I would like but uh, there's the polar bear one. I love the little outfit on her, like her her day outfit or whatever. Is so cute. Here's the husky one. I love her eyes. Like I love the color with this. Like this line was really good. I thought, especially for Barbie, like quality. Um, and her face was really cute. The deer. I like her boots and everything. Just really cute. Um, now the Barbie extras. Usually not a huge fan of Barbie extras but I liked a few dolls in this line I really like um number 20 the one with the, like the butterfly clips she's really good and I think it was 20 and 15 the like purple metallic one she's really pretty I really like that one um yeah she's got like a early 2000s 90s vibe I love it her face is really nice too the color scheme is great I just think she's a really nice doll. If she's on clearance, I definitely get her. As well as her, the color scheme is great. Um, not too much going on, but just enough. So yeah, if she was on clearance, definitely get her. Uh, Barbie Extra Fancy. They're really cool. I like the pink one and the teddy bear one. I'm not a fan of the other like tropical looking one, personally. Uh, the teddy bear one's really cute. I love the color scheme and everything going on. I love her hair as well. Uh, yeah, the pink one I really, really liked. I, I don't know. It just looks so chic and just, I don't know. It looks so good. I like the ponytail too. Um, now the Barbie Extra Minis Wave 2 came out. There's no specific name for these dolls, so I'll just refer, refer to by color. I like the little Space Buns girl. She's really cute. I like that they're doing like the bigger face for Barbie. I think it's really cute. I don't know. I like disproportionate heads. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks good on dolls. Uh, yeah, she's got a little cow bag. I love her little cow bag. So cute. I really, really like this one. This one's a really good character design. Uh, I don't know. She's hard to find, I think, though. I could be wrong. Uh, and then we have the Wave 3. Um, these ones aren't as good as the previous ones, in my opinion. But they're cute. I like the dual hair one, the the blue and the pink. I like that kind of style, so she's cute. I think she has like a gummy bear earrings too, that's cool. So now we've got the BFF Crybabies. Um, I thought this was a really cool release and definitely interesting. Uh, there's six dolls in this wave. This is the 2022 one. Um, character de design's really cute. The The outfits are really cute. I like the blue colored one too. I don't remember her name, sorry. But it will be here in a second. Um, we got BFF Jenna. And because we share the same name, I just had to put her up. <laughs> because I'm like that. <laughs> um, we got BFF Coney and Sydney. They're really cute. I really like their bags too. Really cute. Um, now the Disney designer collection. There was so much dolls in this collection and that was released in 2022. So this is definitely not all of them. But um, Mulan. Mulan is my favorite Disney princess. And I love this um, outfit. I'm not a fan of her face as much in this doll. But I love her hair and her outfit. Gorgeous. Uh, Tiana. Really classy. Gorgeous look. I love it. I love her face in this as well. Um, really, really cute. I love the color scheme and everything. How it's like an olive color scheme. Um, this was really pretty. Aladdin 30th anniversary Jasmine. Uh, love everything about this doll. Really gorgeous. I think she was a 17 inch. I'm pretty sure. Uh, really expensive doll. So super expensive. Uh, Marvel designer Black Panther. We got Shuri. A really lovely design. Love that. I love everything going on. Definitely very interesting doll. I love the hair and like the face makeup. Um, now we got the Brittany. I butchered that name. I'm gonna fix it. Um, Brittany Lee. 
uh, Frozen dolls. Now they they are really cute. I love their faces and their design. This is was a really good release. Um, Snow White 80th. 50th anniversary. She's so, so gorgeous. I really wanted her. I almost got her, but it's just so expensive, especially if you're from Canada. Oh my gosh, it'd be like 400 bucks, I think. Uh, Harry Potter. Now, there was two releases that I want to mention because I love Harry Potter, and I think the dolls are really cool. Uh, now, we got Bellatrix Lestrange. Now, I love her doll. It is so, like, it looks so close to the movie, in my opinion. I like that hair texture, and the outfit is just good. Not sure how the quality is, but now we get Sirius Black. I like, I don't know. It's a good release. Uh, too bad the hair is molded on, I'm pretty sure, from what I can tell. And, yeah, the shoes look a little... I don't know not great quality either but yeah that's there the bellatrix one was really good though now we got monster high now we had quite a few releases for them and it's really excited they came out with gen 3 too so um first off we got the monster high boo original creep productions this was just the reproductions of the original release so it's pretty cool. I wanted to get Laguna because she's my favorite character, but I ended up just not getting her at the time. Uh, so we got Draculaura. So it's just, I think they tried it to make it as similar to the original release as, po as possible. Uh, I wasn't collecting them back then, so I can't, couldn't really tell you if they're exactly similar. I love Laguna, though. I just love her character design. She's definitely my favorite. There's Frankie. They look really good here. Uh, I like their little dog. So cute. <laughs> and then we got Claudine. The little cat is so cute. And yeah, she just looks really good. I love her boots. Now this is Voltageous Frankie Comic Con release in 2022. They look so good. I love the color scheme, just the character design, everything it just looks so good. The only thing is, it was super expensive, I believe, to buy, uh, so I didn't end up getting them, but yeah, maybe in the future I'll find them somewhere, it's probably not. Uh, so yeah, this is the Holiday 2022 Draculaura release. She is so, so pretty. Um, really expensive though, so I didn't end up getting her, but I like the design and everything. I like how it's very Halloween, but like... Christmassy at the same time, like love it. Uh, real drama release. These were really nice dolls. I loved, loved the Laguna one. I actually found them at Toys R Us, and I was so close to getting one because the price was like decent compared to you know what it was, and it was a little harder to find at the time. So, but I didn't end up getting her, and oh, I hate myself forever for that. But oh well. Uh, like the Claudine one too. I love that it's like black and white theme, but then like their hair has that splash of color. I love that. It's really good. And their eyes too. Uh, the Dracula one, she was cute too. Wasn't my favorite. I think uh, Frankie and Laguna was definitely my favorite out of this release. Just because of like the colors. I don't know. I like the blue colors. A lot with the black and white. There they are. They look really good. I love their outfit for this release too. It's really good. Haunt Couture Laguna. She is so beautiful. You know I love Laguna. So I love the eyelashes and everything going on. Uh, don't love the jacket. Like the plasticky. I think that's plastic. I like the bag too. Oh and the shoes. Monster High shoes are just so good. Uh, Haunt Couture Frankie. I love their overall look. Really, really beautiful. Love, love the shoes. Uh, that's kind of a cool like shirt harness thing. I like that too. That's really cool. And the earrings, just a really good release. Uh, the Haunt Couture line is so, so good. Um, Draculaura, she has really cute like cave thing. I love, I love the beret with it. Like I love berets. They're so good. The shoes are really nice too. Just a really good release like Haunt Couture was. I'm so sad that I didn't get any, but it would have been so expensive, especially with shipping. And like it was only available on Mattel website. 
here's Cleo. Uh, she wasn't my favorite release personally. I don't know why. It's just something about her face. I don't know, just personally. Uh, I love her shoes though. I love her shoes and her outfit's pretty good too. I don't know why her face just wasn't sitting well with me as much as the others, at least. Uh, Claudine, she's definitely my favorite out of this release. She is so good. Like her character design, her shoes are really awesome. Like I like her outfits and her face is really good. That's why I like found was the most appealing was her face in this line. Uh, now we got Gen 3, which was really cool. I actually, I know a lot of people didn't like the dolls, but I really loved them. Like I love the variety of like the sizes and stuff. I love that. Uh, yeah, so we got Draculaura. Really love her design. I love her bangs for this too. Uh, we got Frankie. They look really good as well. Little pet so cute. I like the skirt a lot and the hair. And the face is just really nice too. Uh, next up we got Claudine. She's probably my favorite. Uh, and I love her like color scheme. I know it's the usual color scheme, but it looks like a little different to me, if that's fair to say. Her hair is definitely different. Uh, Laguna. See, I'm not as much a fan of this Laguna compared to the original. She still looks pretty in my opinion, but I don't know. I like the other one better. Just personally. Her pet's really cute though. Uh, here's the Deuce signature. His pet is cute. I don't know. I'm not a fan of boy dolls usually, so yeah, not a whole lot going on for me there as a collector, but that's okay. The Cleo doll, she is really pretty too. I really liked her. Her face is good and her hair is good and her outfit is just really great too. The pet's really cute too. I don't know. I like the little pets. They're cute. Uh, Torlai, uh, not my favorite. She's really cute though. I don't know why, it's just something about the face. Um, she's not bad by any means, but just not my favorite. Uh, yeah, but her design was cute. Uh, Coffin Bean 2-pack with Frankie and Deuce. Um, yeah, they look really good. They look cute. It was a really cute like 2-pack for the Coffin Bean. Um, outfits are interesting. It's like they're supposed to be on their break. Um, then the coffin bean playset's really, really cute. I love that. I like the little, like, pet there, too. Oh, I love pets. Uh, yeah, and, like, Monster High furniture is really awesome. So, it was cool to see that. Dracula Gorganizer. The doll for this release is really, really cute. She, I think she's supposed to be, like, a budget doll, maybe. But she's just really cute. Uh, Ghoul Spirit six-pack. Not my favorite. Not much going on, I think. Uh, the Torlai is really cute in this release, though. The other one's not as much my favorite. I like their signature dolls better. Uh, we got the budget line, which was Day Out. We got Frankie. I love their outfit. Really cute. Like, I love their, their outfits overall are really good. Uh, the face is really nice. Uh, I like the ring, too. I think there was a ring. Uh, this is the Draculaura. I love this look. This one looks really, really good. I like the overall outfit and her bangs, of course, look really great. Her shoes are really good. Of course, Monster High with the nice look of shoes. Um, Claudine wasn't my favorite as much, but she looks really cute. Her little, I like her little, like, moon phase shirt. That looks really good. Uh, don't like her shoes as much, but oh well. Anyways, so that was everything for the 2022 wrap-up. Not everything, you know what I mean, but what I wanted to show at least. So yeah, this this is it. It's finally over the 2022 wrap-up. Um, I definitely want to do this again next year with 2023 releases, so tune in for that. But yeah, this was Doll Thanks Thursday, episode 4. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.